Radio. And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. What's up, YouTube? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, and I have a couple videos here in the next few video uploads uh, talking about ham-made gear, you know, by hams for hams. I think that's, I think that deserves some sort of credit for some of the guys that make their own products and, uh, you know, they're ham radio operators, they're making things that other ham radio operators may benefit uh, by using. Um, a lot of these things that you see online uh, may not be an original idea. I mean, you may not have someone that invented the dipole, but they have their own little handmade dipole that they sell or their own little uh, devices, you know. What I want to do is uh, today is a video on something that I picked up from my Go Kit, and uh, I think that I should make a video on it because it's something that a lot of people can use, and um, I think the by hams, for hams deserves a little bit of credit. So let's check out what I have uh, today. And the next couple of videos, I'll have some other stuff that uh, might, you might find interesting. So let's check out what I have today. All right, so the first in the video to check out, my Go Kit, I have a solar panel, and I need a way to charge it with a charge controller. So I found this on um, the Swap Meet section, handmade gear section in the Swap Meet uh, QRZ.com. And KI0BK. Kilo India Zero Bravo Kilo from Flint Hills Radio Incorporated has built and designed a solar battery charge controller. And a must-have if you're using a solar panel on a go-kit to charge a battery. Or if you're using it even at home, this is great. Um, comes with a 10 amp fuse, Anderson Power Pole connectors. Okay, so I picked up some cheap connectors and soldered them. Uh, I got them from eBay, but uh, I don't have the crimp tool. But the battery will go on one side, the, the solar panel will go on the other. That's pretty much it. And what will happen is the battery will power the unit, and when you plug the solar panel in, the unit determines how it's going to charge the battery with some safety features based on the voltage of the battery and the voltage coming out of the solar panel. In fact, it comes with a, uh, a manual here. So basically, there's an LED on here, all right? And the LED has different indicator uh statuses. For instance, solid red means it's charging in fast charge mode. Uh, red with a green flash means the battery has reached peak voltage setting. It's in absorption mode. All right, And uh, flashing green means the very low light level. So it's not producing enough power to run the char charge controller. Um, it shows you the operation on here. Equalization in lighting applications or a deep discharge, the solar battery charge controller will start in equalized mode upon sunrise. The float level will automatically be increased to equalize the battery cell voltage, then return to normal float mode. So it's smart. It's got some technology in here that determines. For instance, the microcontroller will shut off charging when it detects a battery disconnect event or too low a voltage on the battery for safe operation. If there's a short in the cell or the battery is just stone dead, this is going to go into safety mode to prevent any issues from trying to charge a shorted cell or, or thus uh, anything similar. So it's got a sturdy, um, a, like an ABS plastic case that seems to be pretty tight and sturdy. Uh, unless you're smashing it with a hammer, it seems that it will, uh, you know, withstand the, uh, you know, impact. And uh, a, a very... Um, affordable option compared to something I was looking at like on eBay a, star, a solar charge controller from China it takes like 45 days to get here uh, you know no real warranty or you know it's ba a basic charge controller so by hams for hams supporting the local guy that makes his own creations here um, from ki zero BK and he has he warranties his his uh, items here. He, he stands behind it. It's not just a uh, guy throwing stuff together, okay? But he wants to make something that seems to be better than a, a standard cheap China controller that you'd find on eBay. So the charge controller, you'll see this in my Go Kit video coming up soon. We'll put a meter on it and see that in sunlight it's charging and what the thing is doing. Now let me show you something else here that he offers on the site that I picked up that may be something I'm going to use in the, in the shack here. Uh, a low loss power gate. Okay, and what this basically does, same case design, okay, but it's got the blue. Uh, what this basically does is you connect your battery supply, 
you connect your power supply, and then you connect your devices, and basically this will switch over to battery power when the AC voltage cuts off. Consider it like a battery backup device um, to run all your gear if you're in a, using a go kit or you're just at the house on your desk without having to switch it over manually when the power goes out or if you're out in the field. It automatically detects the AC shutoff and, and switches over to battery voltage. And this comes with uh, with uh, paperwork as well here. So the low loss power gate, simple battery backup power system, communication equipment will remain operative on battery during AC blackouts. Transfers up to 25 amps at 16 volts DC continuously, a safe way. Uh, uses MOSFET power transistors to switch the load between power sources with only a 20 millivolt drop. It's a low loss between the Anderson power poles and the circuitry. It's a low loss design. Um, and you see here, warranty. Warrantied against failure due to defects one year from the date of purchase. Okay, so he's, again, he stands behind it. And it, it comes with a little cheap, uh, easy schematic here. Battery here power supply here, and rig one, two, and three. Okay, so um, very cool. I mean, a, a great way to, to, something small to put in the shack to uh, automatically switch over to battery. If you're in Aries and you run on AC and DC back backup power for emergency situations, this may be coming in handy. As soon as the power goes out in hurricane season, bam, it's over on low power, or it's on battery power. All right, so that's uh, a very cool thing. Again, by hams, for hams. Now, of these two, I want to show you something funny. So with my Go Kit coming up, uh, I bought one of these on eBay, and it was cheap, and it took like 20 days to get here. And I thought, well, I got to have a way to fuse and distribute the stuff in my Go Kit. Um, and I bought this. It really didn't look that big on the uh, on the website, but on eBay, but it came with fuses, and I figured, okay, well, once it got here, I was getting ready to mount it in the go kit somehow, and he sent this along with it and said, Eric, check this out, and uh, it's funny that it came that timing. Now, this is a low-loss rig walker made by KI0BK, and basically, this is your power distribution block with a fuse, up to 25-amp fuse, this is a 20-amp fuse in there, and six power pole outputs in the same size case, very light, three ounces. And um, so now I could run my battery to here and then I can have my radio and some other things powered off of here neatly with power pole connectors and disconnect them if I have to without having it all taped or, you know, something like this. I was going to have to figure out how to bridge these together for the positive and then outputs for negative and or for outputs for positive fused. And, you know, it seems like it would have been a mess. This is going to be uh, a very... Uh, a neat way of doing it and he's going to be making this is a prototype these are going to be available i guess in january the site says but uh thanks for sending that for me to look at and i figured y'all would want to see this on your desk um if you were looking for um you know instead of getting a huge rig runner or something if you need something smaller for your go kit or for the house check this out and it's uh, going to come in handy you'll see this and the, con the charge controller in my go kit and uh, we'll show you how i set it up so, uh, and this basically comes with uh, paperwork too. Fused up to 25 amps max with a standard auto mini fuse. Um, the 25 amp uh, Anderson power pole mate, mate, mates with 15, 30, and 45 amp connectors. Uh, so, three ounces, all right? A very cool thing. By hams, four hams. The solar charge controller, the low loss power gate, and the low loss rig walker all available from flint hills radio incorporated made by ki zero bk and um just uh, very cool we're going to see these in my go kit video so take a look link is in the description below subscribe to my channel check us out on facebook like comment share the normal seven three from kj4 yzi